The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 7, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 11th of July, 1973, in London, England. O oh, best of the Brahmanas, for your information, let me tell you about the captains who are especially qualified to lead my military force. So, formerly, five thousand years ago, the same system, military, ordinary soldiers, then the captain, then the commander, the commander-in-chief, as there are gradation, in the modern age, the same thing was there. But Maharatha, uh, they had good qualification. Maharatha means alone he could fight with many other charioteers. They are called Atiratha, Maharatha. There are different grades of fighters. So, so far Pandavas are concerned, they are sent. Subhadra. Subhadra means Abhimanda. Subhadra's son. Because he was Subhadra's son, his name was Subhadra. Draupadi's son, they are called Draupadi. In Sanskrit, just like Bhagini, sister Bhagini. Her son is called Bhaginya, my nephews. So there is a link. As soon as we speak Subhadra, that being Subhadra's son. The Subhadra's son, he was only sixteen years old at that time. He was married with Uttara, the daughter of Maharaj Vira. So they are all Maharathas, ordinary, not ordinary fighters. This Omimanna was killed by conspiracy, by same commander in chief. Bhishma, Karna, Nanacharya, Asatthama, they all surrounded him. And they did not allow him to come out. They are very experienced commanders. So this, this is Khatriya spirit. He was simply a boy, sixteen years old, and he had to be killed by the combined efforts of very, very big commander-in-chiefs. He was so great fighter, Avivanna, Avivanna Bal. So, Shravatra, Draupadi, similarly Draupadi's sons also there. So they were Maharatha. Maharatha means one who could fight with one thousand chariots on the other side. They are called Maharatha. Then Dujyadan, first of all, he pointed out the military strength of the opposite side. This is intelligence. One should take calculation of the opposing elements uh, or the enemy's side. In fighting, the first thing is to take estimation of the enemy's side, how much they are strong, how they have arranged. Then one should calculate how to counteract, how to fight with them. This is intelligence. Without taking any calculation of the other side, if you are not prepared, then how you can become victorious? This is same proposal. That is, upayam chintaya prāgya apayam ca chintaya. A prāgya, a intelligent man, not only think of the bright side, Oh. On 
this business or this fight or this, and so many things we have to deal with. Simply we should not calculate the brighter side. There is darker side not. We should always think if there is some feet, if there is some rope, the cheetahs, then what precaution I am going to take. And this is interview. If I simply calculate that in this business I will make so much profit, in the meantime somebody comes and cheats me and go away, then therefore, upayam chinta et prāgya apayam ca chinta. Darker side also should be thought. That is interview. Just like that. After calculating the darker side, enemy means darker side. They can defeat me at any moment. That is darker side. So after calculating their strength, then the Jadham is speaking about his own strength, asmakam tu visishyāde, visishtā. Not to speak of the ordinary soldier, but then visishtā. Visishtā means to are specifically to be mentioned. High officers. Asmakam tu visishtāde, tāmini bodho dijuttam. He was in commander in chief. For eighteen days there was fight, and one after another a commander chief was killed. And sixty four crores of men were killed in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And the battle was finished within eighteen days, not lingering for some years. No. Fight! to the best capacity and finish the business. So everyone, both the sides, Pandava side and Kaurava side, all were key. The Sovadra, Draupadaya, everyone was key. And the other side also. Only the five brothers, they remained, and the one grandchild who was in the home of the mother, he remained. Otherwise, everyone is finished oh. within eighteen days. Such a great fight it was. And people from all parts of the world, they joined the battle of Kurukshetra. Somebody was criticizing me. <coughs> the Samiji, you are introducing this Hare Krishna movement. People are becoming coward. Uh, they simply chant Hare Krishna. So I replied that you will see the power of Hare Krishna movement in due course of time. He required because there are two battles in India. The battle between Ravan and Ram. Ram Ravan. The battle of Rama. And another battle was battle of Kurukshetra. And in these two battles the hero was Vaishnava and Vishnu. In the Ram Ravan battle, Lord Ramchandra was there and his devotee Hunavan, Bajranga. Similarly, in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Krishna was there and his devotee Arjun was there. So Vaishnavas, they do not simply chant Hare Krishna. If there is need, they can fight under the guidance of Vishnu and become victorious. Vaishnavas, one qualification is, out of twenty-six qualifications, one qualification is dokha, expert. If there is need of fighting, they can fight like very expert. That is also needed. Krishna's Krishna consciousness does not mean one sided. Krishna as all pervading. The Krishna consciousness movement also should be all pervading. It should touch everything, even politics, sociology, everything is required. And that is the end. Because 
Krishna's mission is Yadadadahi Dharma Sagnani Bhavati Bharata Paritrana Sagunam Vinasayata Duskita. There is two missions. Not only to give protection to the devotees, but also to kill the demons. To kill the demons. That is one side. So the devotees of Krishna should be trained up both ways. Not only to give protection to the devotees, to give them encouragement, but if need be, they should be prepared to kill the demons. That is Vaishnavism. It is not cardism. It is not cardism. Why need be? Generally, a Vaishnava is non violent. Just like Arjuna. In the beginning, he was non violent. Vaishnava. He said, Krishna, what is the use of this fight? Let them in touch. So, by nature, he was non violent. But he was induced by Krishna to become violent. Then your non-violence will not help. You become violent. You kill them. I want. So, if Krishna wants, we shall be prepared to become violent also. And Krishna, that is, that is open secret. That paritrana sadhuna vinasaya Two business of Krishna, two sides. So those who are devotees of Krishna, they should be trained up both ways. They should be prepared. But generally there is no question of becoming violent, unnecessary. As the modern politicians, unnecessarily they declare war. A Vaishnava does not do so. No, unnecessarily. There is no need of it. When it was completely impossible to settle up the things between the Pandavas and the Kauravas. Then Krishna said, all right, then there must be fight. When Duryodhana declined to spare in a portion of land holding the Suchagra, the point of a middle, he refused that I cannot spare in so much land which can hold the point of a needle. Then the war was declared. Uh, there is no question of settlement. Otherwise, Krishna requested that these five Pandavas, they are Kshatriyas. They cannot become merchant or Brahmana. Brahmana's profession is Patan, patan, jajan, jajan, dan, pratigya. Brahman can take charity from others. A sannyasi can take charity from others. Not a chhatriya or dhyasta. No. That is not allowed. So, they are chhatriyas. They cannot take the profession of a brahmana. Neither they can take the profession of a mercantile man, businessman. They must have some land so that rule over, take taxation, and that is their living means. So spare only five villages to these five brothers and settle up. Or what Dujjas and replied, no, sir. What do you speak of five villages? We cannot spare even so much land which can hold the point of need. Then the war will. So Vaishnava, they are non violent. But if need be, they can become violent, what Krishna said. This is the battle of pollution. So anyone? Or end here. All like end here. Chant for each.